cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'll explain the best practices to use when increasing the storage on your Amazon Relational Database Service DB instance. Let's get started. By design, storage scaling operations for an Amazon RDS DB instance have minimal impact on ongoing database operations. In most cases, the storage scaling operations are offloaded to the Amazon Elastic Block Store layer and transparent from the database. This process typically completes in a few minutes. However, for some legacy Amazon RDS storage volumes, you might require a different process to modify the size, IOPS, or volume type of your Amazon RDS storage. Most Amazon RDS volume geometrics include either a single Amazon EBS volume or four stripes EBS volume in a right zero configuration, depending on the size of the allocated storage. You must use the legacy method under either of the following conditions. Your Amazon RDS instance doesn't have either one or four volumes. The target size for your modification increases the allocated storage beyond 200 GB. You can view the number of volumes in use on your Amazon RDS instances using the enhanced monitoring metrics. Also, any source volume that uses previous generation EBS volumes require the legacy method for modifying the size of the allocated storage. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console. Then, select the Databases page. Here, you can see the list of databases in your account. Locate the instance and choose the DB identifier. Choose the tab Monitoring. From the drop down list, select Enhanced Monitoring. Select any graph that starts with physical devices. These graphs show metrics for each one of the disks on the instance. Using this, you can estimate the number of volumes on your RDS instance. The following factors can affect the time required to increase the allocated storage of an RDS DB instance. The legacy method. This method uses IO resources and thus can increase your database workload. High load conditions on the database. It's a best practice to schedule the storage increase operations outside your peak hours so that the time required to complete the storage modification operation is reduced. If you have high load conditions, then do the following. Create a read replica for the RDS DB instance. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console. Then select the databases page. Select the instance and choose Actions. Select Create Read Replica. Select the newly created read replica of the RDS instance. Choose Modify and then edit allocated storage as per your requirement. Choose Continue and then select Apply Immediately. Choose Modify DB Instance. Then promote the read replica DB instance to the primary DB instance. Select the newly created read replica of the RDS instance. Choose Actions and then choose Promote. Choose your preferred setting and continue. And then Promote Read Replica. After a storage modification has started, the operation can't be cancelled. The DB instance status is in the modifying state until the Amazon EBS operations are complete. You can restore a DB instance to a specified time or restore from a DB snapshot to create a new DB instance with the original storage configuration. A DB instance that's restored is not in the modifying status. So now you know why an Amazon RDS DB instance can be stuck in the modifying state after increasing allocated storage. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.